I'm one of these people with my smartphone going around. I cannot be without Wi-Fi or internet connections. I mean, that's the way we communicate in the modern day. Yeah, world. definitely. In yeah. fact, I go around looking for Wi-Fi spots before yeah. I sit down and have coffee. That's the thing. Yeah. You walk around the mall, and I actually sometimes even go down to, right up to the people and ask, "Sorry, do you have free <laughs> Wi-Fi?" If they say no, you say thank you and you walk and away. And you go to the next coffee shop. No. But there's been very, very cool developments in the city of Cape Town at the Company Gardens. Uh, a free Wi-Fi hotspot, hotspot is now going to be there because I think local government has realised the potential of mm. having free Wi-Fi. I mean, what it can do, and I think not just for, you know, communicating, let's say, with your friends over social networks, whatever, but for, for business and for allowing people to really harness their ideas in terms of connecting to the world and finding out what other people are doing across the world via internet is so important. But it's like you said, I mean, social <coughs> network is the hub of everything. That's how we find out most of our news, whether yeah. it's on any social network, Wi-Fi is the thing. You have to have it. You yeah. have to be connected. So we sent Grant, our gadget guru, out on the patrol and the report to find out how this uh, new free Wi-Fi hotspot might just change the future of our country. I needed to get some work done today and I needed Wi-Fi to do it. And Company Gardens Cape Town has free Wi-Fi. Yes, the mother city's oldest heritage site is being brought into the future. And the manager of the Company Gardens, Rory Phelan, is most excited. Rory, putting in free Wi-Fi in these Company Gardens is a great way to get people to come and enjoy our beautiful city. Why did you guys do it? Grant, it's a great way to encourage people to use the outdoors, the, the open spaces in the city, and uh, it's an easy method. You find the Wi-Fi system, log on in easy steps, and you get 100 free megabytes, and off you go, surfing. I suppose you guys have put uh, educational facilities in and around the gardens, help kids on field trips or school excursions to learn a little bit more. What have you guys done? Well, there is QR codes on the trees that link to websites about the interesting facts about the tree, as well as a website on the history of the company's garden. Otaniqua Yellowwood, Podocarpus falcatus, and there's the QR code, and all you need to do is scan the code with a QR code reader, and there you go. You've got all the information available, Google Maps, the history of the tree, um, directions to the gardens, uh, the weather, all sorts of added information. Free public Wi-Fi is not a new concept. The City of London's cloud service provides access to unlimited free Wi-Fi to 15,000 hotspots within a square mile. Following this example, the Company Gardens Wi-Fi project will be a pilot for future plans of free internet access to the public across the CBD. I think it's awesome. I mean, it's flipping awesome. You can come to the gardens and get it for free. So it means you save on a data plan, eh? I think it's been so cool and it's so difficult to get Wi-Fi here in Cape Town. So it could be incredibly nice to have it here for free. It's fantastic. Since I'm here for a long period of time, it's allowed me to actually get in touch with my family back home in Saskatchewan. The potential of free Wi-Fi is being explored across South Africa. Since 2012, NISA's residents have had access to Wi-Fi at over 200 central hotspots, while the Maboneng precinct in Josie city centre has rolled out free hotspots to encourage the regeneration of this area. Wherever the hotspot, the hope is that more people will flood to areas with free internet access. I think if you think of our CBDs as being the economic centres of the entire country, you know, over 60% of our GDP is created in those CBDs. So Free Wi-Fi means economic growth, potential for people on the ground, whether they're working at a company to start new businesses, whether they're school kids needing to access resources. It means endless possibilities. So Rashid, what are the chances of other CBDs in our country getting a service like this? I think there's great potential if local governments are willing to work with the private sector and public-privates to create new bodies which can roll them out. And what is the potential for the citizens of South Africa once these services are launched? It's everything from someone trying to start a new business. I think uh, the most important priority of this company is jobs for poor people. If we have more people with the opportunity to access information, whether it's information on how to start a business, information on, on uh, you know, their schoolwork or university work, I think at the end of the day, it, it creates just endless opportunities for these collisions and ideas to happen in cities. Hotspots are a great way of unlocking the treasures in South African cities and making the most of public spaces everywhere.